Hello everybody, today we're going to factor the trinomial 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. If you notice, um, the first term has a coefficient 2, which is other than 1. How are we going to factor this? Well, to get 2x squared, the only way we can get 2x squared is by multiplying 2x by x. There is no other way. So in order to get to x squared, we have to have 2x here or an x here. Okay? So that will give us the first term. Now we need to have uh, two numbers whose product is negative 2. So let's start with 2 first. We'll talk about the sign a little bit later on. The only possible way we can get 2 is by multiplying 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. Okay? So here we're going to have either one here or one here or two here or two here. How do we decide? Well, uh, you can check them both, but here's a, a clue. If I put two here, let me give you an example. If I put two here, you were telling me that two is a factor because I have two here, two here, and it should be factored out. But if you look at the original trinomial, you notice that 2 is not, a, is not the GCF. 2 is not a factor of the middle term. So 2 cannot be here. You can try it. You see, it won't work. 2 must be here. And 1 must be here. Okay? Now, take a look. Um, you need to have the middle term to be positive. So you need the larger product to be positive. Take a look. This is the inside, the innermost. You have a product of 1x or x. This is the way you can check the middle term. And you take the last, uh, the last two terms here, the, the outer terms, 2x and 2, you get a product of 2 times, 2x times 2 is 4x. You need this to be 3x. So you need to have a positive here and a negative here. To get 3x. You see that? Because when you add them up, 4x minus x, you will get 3x, which will give you the middle term. So this is the way you check the middle term. You multiply the innermost here and the outermost terms. And if you multiply them, you add them up, you should get the middle term. So by making this positive 4x, I get the middle term. So this one must be positive too. And this one must be, you have to have negative 1x, so this one negative. Okay? So this way, you can get the middle term. And double check the constant as well. You're going to see that negative 2, negative 1 times 2 gives you negative 2. And this must be the correct factoring. You can check it. You can check it by using FOIL. And you will know that this would be, uh, you would get this trinomial back. So this is the correct factoring. 2x minus 1 times x plus 2. I hope this uh, video uh, was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, write them in the comment below. Uh, have a nice day, everybody. See you next video. Bye-bye.